So I'm going to be honest here about what's been going on the past couple weeks. So I'm not doing okay. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys right now. If I sound really upset and depressed and on the verge of crying, it's because I kind of am. So these past several weeks, practically two months, have not been good. Aside from the stress of working a lot, um, trying to manage everything, inflation affecting us negatively, uh, this one kind of took the cake here on making me upset. So I don't know if any of you guessed this, but my dog recently passed away. Now this little guy, we've had him since he was a year old. He's been part of our family for almost a decade. The oldest videos I have and uh, decent photos are from 2016, as you can see on the screen. I'm, um, I've got a lot on my mind right now. For the context of what's going on, he had been having an issue since October where he wasn't eating, right? So, like, he didn't want to eat dry dog food. And I thought, Mom and I thought, hey, we'll just get him some, uh, you know, some canned dog food. Maybe it's his teeth because, you know, he's a little old man and his teeth were, you know, slowly rotting and we tried to keep him clean and everything, but, you know, to no avail. Um, so we tried that for a bit and his eating improved, but then we noticed him rapidly losing weight. Like he wouldn't eat that much and he would lose weight. And that's when we grew worried. So during late October, we decided to take him to the vet. We had an x-ray and blood work done. And we found out that unfortunately around November 4th, via the x-ray, he had cancer. A very aggressive cancer. And that he wasn't going to be able to have it treated. Because, you know, he's almost 13 years old. So, he's, he's a little old man. So, to make matters worse, um, the cancer had not only hurt him, like, his leg, it was actually in his little elbow joint too, and it had practically eaten away at the joint because it was so aggressive. And it had spread not only from his stomach, but to his liver, and his liver was, was failing. And unfortunately, chemo and treatment were not an option because of how old and he was and how aggressive the cancer was and the cost. So as you can tell, we're pretty much left with nothing to do. And we asked the vet how many, how much time, like before he's in the worst pain, you know, and I, we didn't want him to suffer. So the vet's like, you got about one to two weeks, but he was already, you know, not eating anymore and not showing interest in food. Like he did not want to eat. So we did what was best. And, and I, uh, I did what I could. We gave him some food. I made like chicken in a crock pot for him multiple times a day. And by the end of it, he just kind of stopped eating. And we decided instead of watching him slowly waste away because he can no longer eat, that we were going to take him to the vet and have him put down. And I'm just really heartbroken. He was part of our family for over a decade. And losing him is so hard. The reality hit me the other night when I was actually, um, I had some chicken, you know, and I was like, oh, he might like some. He's gone, you know, but he's in a better place. I made the right choice, but it still hurts. So thank you guys so much for watching and I appreciate your support.